I think we're on. Sounds a little jittery in the emulator here. Okay, it's a lot jittery in the emulator. Is there anything I can do about that? Um, probably not. Sound, here we go. Simulated disc T speaker. What if I click direct? That's, oh, there we go. Skippy. Sharp STFM samples. Hmm. I think it's just not going to get any better than that. Direct was a little better, I guess. We'll put it back on direct. Okay. Huh? Game on. There's my jump key. There's my jump key. Okay. In each level, there are a number of little things you have to get. In this one, they seem to be little balls right there. And I'm the mouse, of course. I haven't played this in so many years. There's the green meanie. I feel like there's a key that I could hit that would stop the music from playing. Is that it? I think I did it. Oops. And the ball. Just uh, imagine Gollywog's Cakewalk still playing in that same syntho weirdness. I'm also hearing the also hearing everything a bit after when I should. Okay, those plants will kill me. In this one, apparently, I've got to get the strawberries. If you jump too far, you die. If you hit any of the weird things, you die. That was too far, and I probably hit the snail, so... No good there. And that was a, just a big miss. Let's try again. Get on the cloud. Up and over the jam jar. Got a strawberry. And coming back down. Jump. Cloud. One more strawberry. Uh, I didn't want to be picked up, but I didn't want to hit the snail either. And the door opens when you hit the last thing. Wow, the sound is so lagging on this. And it's lagging on my stream even worse, so that, that even worsens it even more. Ah. I used to have a real good feel for this. I can get through so many levels without touching anything for quite a while. I'll let you know when I get to where it's harder, or I'm not sure what I'm doing. I never finished this game when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. There's the green meanie again. I'll be real careful with him. Because here he comes. Ah, made it out. And I'm collecting fish bowls now, and there's something weird in the middle. I think that's a Y2K bug. Yeah, let me see what I can do about just muting this. Library, drag, mute. Okay. And now i got to click back on the window so I can move him again. Got dim bones. Am I going to beat the ghost? Nope. 
Move out of the way, ghost. Got a bone. Back on a cloud. Last one, and the door opens. The music never changed, by the way. It was the whole time. Gollywog's cakewalk. Ah! I didn't jump. So much for my extra life. Got all the birds. Fish swimming in no water. It's pretty surreal. There's the stinky cheese. I gotta pick up a bell or three. There's that. And off. Do I get under the plunger? Yes! Ooh! But far enough not to hit the plunger and not to hit the stinky cheese. Lots of pictures in this one. There's the red rubber ball. Sun is shining like a red rubber ball. Over the snail, last pitcher, and back through the door. Back up to three mouses again. Oh, not fast enough to get under the spider. There we go. Got that. Ooh, just missed it. Are these the spider's eggs? That's pretty creepy. Okay. And in and up, and there we go. I'll just wait here. Home free. I guess it's every thousand points I get that. Now there's a... You can't see it, but on this umbrella, boing, it jumps itself. And there's another one this way. Gotta wait for the bomb to finish exploding. Or maybe I'm actually supposed to jump there myself. It's the next... It's the umbrella where the other owl is. And up. Maybe I jump there too. Okay, it's definitely here. Boing. There we go. And boing. Not to hit that again. Through the door. No matter how far you jump, when you hit the door, you win. Even if the jump normally would have killed you. Oops. Oh, I missed it. I'm amazed that I missed it. And boom. When I do stuff like that, you can tell I've played this before. <laughs> okay, this bird is... Ah, difficult. See, that's how they usually mark them. See that striped business right down there where I jumped? That's where the super jumps are usually, the way they're usually marked. Here we have the breakfast. Oops. Ah, too far. Breakfast level. Whoop. Grab a bell. remember how to do these things. Ah! Bad. Okay. Used up all my lives trying to get back used to the controls again. But I'm getting there now. Much better. Mm. Had breakfast, now just a cup of coffee and some strawberries. 
Sometimes it seems like there's a theme on these. Other times it doesn't seem like there's any kind of theme at all. There we go. This one has a really slow moving spider up at the top that's going to get me. I should not be taking chances like that. Or that. I'm sure I could have gotten that boot, but. I'm too. Ah! Just in time for my extra life. I'm too insecure about these controls and playing it on the emulator and. Having not played it in such a long time, ah, that was almost really bad. Ooh, no more taking chances. Boom. That one right there, that plunger would sneak up and get me at the top there. Okay. I always loved the color on this one. Reminded me of a purple sweet tart. Now these little dudes that are hanging around in there will kill me if I step on one directly. And this is difficult. Ooh, got it, got it. And the toilet paper. Good old flying toilet paper. Very difficult jump. But I made it, and a big old jump there. And the game, I think, wanted me to go all the way across and then walk the... Hmm. Walk those peanuts across the top with the toilet paper. But I'm not doing that. Yeah, I got it on one. Got it on one. And you have to walk with the cloud. So, being careful. Picking up what appears to be a boot, but it's made of metal. Not real sure what that's about. Wait for the penguin to go by. Up and over. Cutting it close. Zip. Okay, we're getting past the easy part. I gotta remember what to do here now. Um. Mm, wow, so close too. Okay, let's start another game. I can do this now. I don't know why standing on top of that plant doesn't hurt you. You only get that in this first level. And I threw off my groove. Like that. Can I start over? New game. One of these does a new game. I'm trashing it. Sorry. It is some kind of poisonous plant to look... Hey, not proud of that. Not putting a score in there. 1987. I thought this was before that. Why can't I move? Oh, space bar to start the game. Okay. Up. Those plungers have blood on them. Never paid much attention to that when I was little. I had no idea who the blue meanie was at the time, but the old hippie in the uh, ST shop that 
Oh, it was too fast, or too slow. That uh, showed me this game. It's calling that the Green Meanie. And I didn't even know who the Beatles were back then. There's a little, little computer store in Houston called Computers to Grow. That's where we got our Atari ST. Now, I remember this trick. I don't have to climb all the way up there. How's that? And if I'm quick enough here... Okay, i got to quit showing off. But if I'd been quick enough there, I could have gone all the way down, beaten the cloud and the snail, and been on my way out before it tried to pick me back up or before the snail came back, just like that. And I would use a joystick for this game. This was a Atari black joystick, just like the old Atari 2600. I was playing this on an Atari ST520 computer system. Favorite computer that I ever had. Plenty of games, but it was a serious computer. Printer, word processor, the whole bit. It was not a toy. It was not just a game console. And it was extremely powerful, especially for its time. It could do things that it took the Microsoft world a decade to catch up on. Can you tell I'm getting a little braver? <laughs> I feel like I used to have some kind of cheat for this thing that would give me unlimited lives. And even then I couldn't get through all the stuff. But it couldn't have been. It was it was time bandits where I had the unlimited unlimited lives. And again, I never finished time bandits. Excuse me. Carbonation inflation. Yeah, I remember the Time Bandits. The Time Gates were built by a powerful race to study the reaches of all time and space, reclaiming the lost archives of old and learning the lessons tomorrow's worlds hold. But these lords of time did not interfere, afraid that ghastly effects would appear. Yet some insisted on using the gates to become guardians and change the fates of all the worlds and all their souls and seized the Time Gates for these goals. I'm sure I've skipped a lot of that poem. Back in the 80s, the graphics and stuff for the games just weren't that spectacular. So a lot of them came with a whole lot of collateral material. Maps and books. Uh, Starglider 2 came with a novella by James Follett. Uh, it was a great story. It also came with a, a tape full of music. Uh, dossiers about the characters, the planets, the moons, everything for that star system, all kinds of groovy stuff. Police Quest. I remember, oh, I think I missed it. No, I got it, I got it. Police Quest came with a book. You basically had to go through the entire police academy to learn how to play that game. I do miss those things. But Time time Bandits came with, um, you know, the instruction book was also kind of a story book, and it, it had this long poem that I was reciting from just then. Ooh, oh, didn't get it that time. Even old Nintendo games came with, uh, you know, those little, those little, uh, I don't know what you call them, little booklets. They weren't just instructions, they were usually stories. I remember the uh, the original Super Mario Brothers 
booklet had all this explanation about King Koopa using black magic. He turned all of the mushroom people uh, and various things into bricks and blocks and other stuff. So all of those blocks that you were breaking, it was supposed to be that you were freeing someone from a spell. They didn't appear on the screen, but some of them had uh, coins or flowers or or whatever to give you, and that was your reward for setting that person free, and that they were turned into a, a brick for being under a spell. The ones that the mushrooms that were not under the spell were the evil little goombas that you were running and stepping on. And I don't know anybody else that seems to remember any of that, and I don't have that booklet anymore. That those kind of things didn't last very long. I have a few more lives now than I did before when I came through here. Hey, there's another one. Uh, am I too soon? Ah, barely. Get in, get out. My lives will end up going off the screen. I do love this color. Purple is my favorite color, and this is a particularly good purple. And I'm collecting fish bowls in this one. It's like I said, it doesn't always have a theme. Or maybe it does, but the theme doesn't always make sense. Sometimes I jump when I'm standing still and I want to jump to the left or the right because if I try to jump just from a standing position, it, sometimes it doesn't work and I only end up jumping straight up. But if I jump up first, then I can be holding the left or right key down when I hit and then when I re-jump, it goes in the direction I want. See, like here, I've got enough room to get a, a step in before I actually hit the jump, like that. And almost didn't make it anyway. Oh, but it's going to get close here. Always does. And I'm through. Is this where I died last time? Maybe i got to go down a step. That's it. I jumped from up there and I died. Boing. And up. Down. 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 Over the plants. Over the plants. Over the plants. Up over the chains. Oh, no. See? Can't stop jumping once you've started. I don't remember if I can go under that or not, but I'm not taking the chance. Over. Boing. There, in the middle of it this time. Home free. We get to see a level we haven't seen yet. The rockets. And I gotta pick up little beakers. Get that. Ooh, I dropped too far. That was an accident. 
I meant to turn to the other direction, but I didn't mean to actually go through. I mean, drop off the cloud. Let's try it again. Can I pick it up right on there? I can! Wow. Now I gotta get over that. And here's the thing, that bomb explodes so slowly that I can't just go ahead and drop to wait for the explosion to disappear. I learned that the hard way. This is a difficult level. Mmm, too high. Gotta get down to just one, one of these blocks. Right there. Almost didn't make it. And there's a super in here, I believe. There is. Okay. Don't let my tail hit that guy. Got the boot. Dropping back down. And out. Uh, the levels get harder and harder. But I have been past this one, at least. That was close. I gotta get back up and get that ball. That wasn't the way to do it. I think I have to get that ball on the way down. Too far. Relearning this stuff as I go. I think I'll make it this time. Oh, that ghost. I can't I can't figure out where he's going to be. It's very very hard. I'm This might be the end of the game for me right here. There he's going back down. Okay. If I can just Ah, let me down. Now if that ghost didn't come right here and smack me. Okay, he didn't. I'm out. Pure dumb luck. Uh, this one, I don't even know what I'm doing. Not, this is at the end of my playable experience right here. I think I've been to this, but I don't know if I have been past this. That is one slow spider. Do I jump up here? No, I don't. So I gotta go across and then walk the peanuts. Can't, no, don't want for him to go down. Up, up, up. Up. And there we go. I. I know I have never been past this level. If I touch that... S ooh, the jack in the boxing. If I touch that swing over there, it'll grab me and swing me, but I'm not... I don't know how to let it make it let me go at the right moment. So I've got to get up there first. And it got me there. And I got off of it. Now I gotta get back on while the jack in the box are not around. Whew, I got down here again. I'm gonna wait for him. If I go to the left, can I jump back up? Ah! Okay, I got that far. Uh, 
<laughs> got that far. Can I jump back from here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We might see new ground. Now I gotta get down before that jack in the box comes back. Ah! That was the bomb! I ran out of time! Finally completed this level and I ran out of time. Oops. Ah, no. It fell right off of it. And here I've got through the thing. I had no idea. How many levels from the end am I? Okay, wait for it. I made it that far, and here, nope. Okay. I'm out. Here we go, brand new territory. Wrench. And some other stuff. I have to get on this wrench. I did not get on this wrench. It caught me. Wow. I have to get on it again. I was amazed that I got that far. All right. <sighs> One more shot, and then I'm hanging up. I should have prepared a music channel to be playing in the background of this. Didn't realize I was going to have to put the game on mute. Picking up confidence. And more time means more points. Or less time. More time remaining at the end of the level. So it's not just about showing off. It actually does serve a purpose. More points means more free lives, and I'm going to need them. Ah, ear itches. Stop itching. No. No. There we go. Sometimes if I'm fast enough, I can beat that uh, jack-in-the-box guy back up to the top there. No! Like that. Apparently not. Okay, I won't do that again. Come on, big nose. Dun 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 d
Picking up parrots. Did you ever watch Agatha Christie's Poirot? A parrot was being delivered to Mr. Poirot. And the guy says, I've got a parrot here for Mr. Poirot. He says, excuse me, sir, it is pronounced Poirot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Gavner. I didn't know. I've got a Poirot here for Mr. Poirot. Uh, to me, that is hilarious. I laughed a long time. You want to hear a really good rendition of Gollywog's Cakewalk? Uh, you should go to um, Isao Tomita. Japanese weirdo artist that basically takes a MIDI of a song, or it seems like this is what he does. He takes a MIDI of a song and then randomizes the instruments for a Casio keyboard. Wah, 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 wah. Just moving through. Jump. Automatic jump. A couple more jumps. Don't forget to give the explosion time to dissipate. Jump. One more owl. Jump. And through. Not enough time to get in there, that one. And I missed the bone! That hasn't happened in a long time. I get through here. I get up the staircase. I even get that one before... Okay. Stir them in my witch's brew. I got magic. I oh no! You can tell it's late. I'm getting tired and I'm losing my touch. Drop right there, 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 up and over. And there is no save game. You've got to start over at the beginning each time. She'll just wait for it. Hey, somebody's in the chat room. I just saw that. Dominator, you still there?
Ah! I'm sorry, I wasn't even watching, man. Dominator 2792. Ah, I missed. Man, I wish I'd seen that when he was still around. Or she, I don't know. That felt like a jump too early. Up and out. Refresh the page over here. See if that helps. Oh, the penguin, the penguin. Ah, I didn't do it right. <laughs> I did it again. I get it this time. I have to. I don't have any more lives. Stream configuration quality. It says excellent. Told me to refresh the page to find that out. And that's the end of that. Okay. Well. That's the end for this game. We'll pick this one up some other time. Uh, I guess I don't want to go to bed yet. I'm going to pull out another game and start another stream.